Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I want to share with you how to create uh, connection points uh, in uh, your wireframes and the wireflow effectively. Now, this is going to be a short tutorial. And uh, the reason why I'm shooting it is because I see a lot of designers uh, not uh, fully utilizing uh, the tools at your disposal in Figma. So let's uh, go ahead and let's discuss uh, how you can create these connection points uh, similarly to what you also find by default in FigGem. So what you want to do is to initially create uh, a line and uh, as uh, you're going to see on uh, the stroke panel, you have a few options. So for example, if you want to create a connection point from point A pointing to B, you can use uh, the arrows. So as you can see, we have uh, the line arrow or we have uh, the triangle arrow. And uh, what uh, many designers uh, don't realize is that you can uh, also, um, well, first of all, uh, change the stroke, but also utilize uh, the pen tool in order to create uh, different uh, paths uh, so that uh, you don't have to individually go ahead and uh, use the line for each and every one of these uh, wire flows. So this is going to make it uh, very easy. And uh, on top of that, uh, you can, for example, select uh, these points and uh, you can round them up so that you can create uh, these uh, very nice and uh, fancy uh, looking wire flows overall. So this, uh, I would say, basically covers uh, the vast majority of uh, the use cases. So say that, for example, I want to create uh, a point uh, from uh, this rectangle, which uh, I'm simply going to change uh, the color and we're going to round it up uh, just a little bit to this uh, point right here. You can uh, actually go ahead and also add the uh, interaction elements, uh, which uh, can be really useful to communicate uh, maybe a transition. So for example, if uh, I am uh, working with uh, developers and uh, I'm uh, actually leaving them some uh, specific notes, uh, I could have uh, something around these lines uh, where on click uh, I can communicate that uh, this uh, is going to be the screen that uh, they're going uh, to move on. And uh, of course, you know, you can stylize this uh, as you prefer, but uh, just to give you like a, a glimpse as to what can be possible. And uh, essentially another thing that uh, you might want uh, to consider is having the uh, circle around this uh, line. Now there isn't uh, a better way that I figured to basically add these circles. So it's kind of a cumbersome, uh, approach for the time being and I just group them uh, all together. If you guys have uh, a better suggestion to create these uh, circles around and especially when they are at uh, a smaller dimension, this can uh, definitely <laughs> be a little bit more tricky since you really need to get all of the pixels. But overall, uh, this is how I would go ahead and uh, create this uh, interaction point. Uh, and then uh, if uh, you move the screen and uh, you need to create uh, another one, you can always uh, copy and paste uh, and then double click uh, again uh, and uh, basically, oops, and uh, change uh, the uh, elements. So as you can see, this is quite a, a scalable approach in and of itself. And uh, yeah, it just makes uh, everything uh, way, way easier whenever you're creating uh, wire flows uh, and uh, UX uh, components uh, of uh, this type. So I hope uh, this uh, video was helpful. And uh, if you want to learn more Figma tips uh, and uh, tricks, uh, feel free to check out the other videos on the channel and I'll see you in the very next one.